Welcome back, Polygoners. We are moving on to game number four on Abyssal Reef. It looks like it's going to be another Zerg versus Protoss, but this time it's not going to be Warren playing the Zerg. In fact, it's going to be a Protoss from Sizefarm Gaming. Guys, if you don't remember, or if you're just now tuning in with us, my co-caster this evening is the amazing Bel Air. Apparently, he really likes Will Smith as far as his rapping and his acting. Will Smith is a really, really cool guy. Almost as cool as the host, which is, who is my main caster today? And I'm really <laughs> happy to be here with you, Shaft, uh, my uh, Will Smith of choice for tonight. So, <laughs> Thank you, man. I, I'm not sure how to take that, but I, I, I'm good to smile. I just uh, won in a comparison against Will Smith. I, I feel like a man in black. You will wake up late at night and you go, <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. So, Abyssal Reef is probably the map that has been in the map pool probably the longest, if, I, if I'm right. Is, is that a that's, fair assessment? That's, that's alright, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I oh. think so as well, man. So, definitely a well established map, if not the longest in the map pool. So, ZVP on this map fairly fleshed out um what are you thinking are, are we still gonna see that stargate play or maybe you see something mixed it up a little bit like uh, to, to be honest I, I i could expect the stargate play but not that massive as we've seen in the first two games yeah you know, less first, oracles uh, i i would uh, still consider the oracle opener as a strong opener mm -hmm. but uh, i am more like of single stargate uh, probably a free of for Phoenix is just to uh, make sure no Overlord scout you, uh, what uh, you are up to and uh, probably denying some mute attack or something like that. But going for a solid um, Charge Lord Archon uh, mm -hmm. army with some Immortals for the for the mid game push or uh, just aiming for you know something steady. I I always think that ground units are overmatching anything in the air as long as it's not massive. Yeah. yeah, well we've got some really unusual stuff happening, so let's go ahead and introduce these players. <laughs> Why don't you take over the bottom right corner and do oh. that first? Yes. Shall I start? Or yeah, go for like it. Go for it. And the uh, bottom right corner, it's a blue Protoss and number one as in the last... It's DISC playing here from Cystorm Gaming. And um, since I have never seen that guy play, I'm really curious about what he is about to bring up. Yeah. And here on the top left hand side of Abyssal Reef in the purple Zerg trunks playing for Team Risen. He had to go with a little bit of an unusual build going to his third before his natural. It's Wessie. It's Wessie. That that sounds like a cartoon, you know that? It's Wessie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. And we do see the uh, almost cartoon like predictable Stargate out of disc. Oh uh, Oh, this is Never seen a Stargate before! Oh my god, who is playing that? Sh oh wait, everybody does. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little underwhelming, but we'll see how what he uses it, does with it. Uh, Cause like, honestly- Void Star Rave first. Yes. Star Cause Stargate's kind of like a game that's been mapped out for so long, like you kind of like know what to expect. It's not even like having an it's unusual composition anymore. at this point. It's more like, Using it in a new and different way, so let's see. Let's see if okay, again Oracle, Oracle. So it's what it's not. Surprise. Yeah, it's it's not about like getting a different unit or getting a different composition. It's about the tactics that you can employ with that unit. You know. What and I, mean? I think at this point, the transition to another tech is the most important part. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of. I mean. You don't have to do real damage with the Oracle. If the enemy is overcommitting with spores and maybe mm -hmm. too much queens, he cannot really uh, use so in a solid fight later on. Right. You already did your damage because he invested money and... Uh, oh, yeah, there's actually one of them trying to kill off... Uh, he actually killed two drones, which mm -hmm. is not too bad of a trade. Uh, uh, besides the... Yeah, well... A little bit of gas, no. but, you know. Yeah. Not too big a deal. Wessie did go for Pneumatized Carapace, though. He's got some really crucial overlords in position. We'll see how long he waits to actually scout, but the Oracle does uh, poke in here. Managed force 
couple of buildings to get built and then cancelled, but no real damage done there. Free drones and some mining time. This yeah. is like average Oracle. If he flies in and does that again, then it's worth it, but mm -hmm. at the moment you will have to deal with these eight links just charging right over the map, and um, if you check the third of this, he's already placing his mm -hmm. uh, potential third Nexus, and oh, no. Introducing links to the Nexus is not a bad idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea when you're Protoss. Right, yes indeed. So apparently I had it on the casters overlay for all of that. I'm not sure how that worked out, but we are in the game now. Sorry about that, guys. <gasps> Amateur mistake! Normally I have an observer who handles this stuff. Ah. It's uh. <laughs> so, yeah, players... Basically, it's been a very standard game so far. Just to summarize it for those who, who, who were missing video, I know your streamers, your your viewers on the live stream had the video because oh. you're so much cooler than me. But hey, you're the Will Smith. I'm just I don't know Jada Smith or something. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, man. So we got. I'm, I'm the alien. I'm the alien. You're the alien. I accept this. <laughs> so we actually do have the robo transition with the Twilight Council this time. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I know how happy you are about that. Um, some gateways going down. Nice little wall off here at the top of this third base. Going to drop. Stop any run bys that uh, Wessie chooses to drop. Now this Overlord is going to be poking in here, getting chased a little bit by the Phoenix, but he will see the robo as well as the Twilight Council friend. Yeah. I I I often wondering why not uh, all Zerg go for speed overlords because it's the value is uh, it's it's just great I yeah. mean you pay you pay some gas you pay some minerals but you can actually scout the the, uh, mm -hmm. the produce in a decent way in Korea I mean, it is almost required uh, in ZVT and ZVP not so much ZVZ but like I think foreigners are definitely missing out by not emulating that part of the Korean meta. The really good GMs do it right mm -hmm. away because, because they know. <laughs> yeah. You know, trust your trust your GMs. They they don't wouldn't do it if there was no uh, nothing behind it. These Oracle are becoming quite a problem right now. Okay. Yeah. One here, okay, going down with five kills. The other has five kills as well, but uh, gets a lot of health points. Uh, mm -hmm. Shred it, shred it away there. Yeah, so, um, and the Hydralisks have been managing to complete without any interference by the Oracles. Oracles have kind of done their job in this game, though. I think with the Phoenixes, as you predicted, we do see the Immortals coming out, or at least the potential for Immortals. So I think with uh, the fact that you've also got the Charge Lot um, upgrade coming as well, we're definitely going to see Phoenix Immortal Templar Archon. Yeah, I like that. Uh, what I like as well is, I mean, look at the expansions, look at the buildings. Mm -hmm. The Thor is taking his fourth, and the, the fourth of the Zerg is already there. I think he might be uh, a little bit behind uh, mm -hmm. why this Wokusma is uh, arriving at the... Well, what's that? It's the, the third, but it was the natural of uh, Messi. Mm -hmm. And the Adepts do twice some work here. And maybe you can just pick him up with the pickup range of seven. Phoenix is screaming in, but um, no, good damage, all safe and sound. Yeah, so far we've had 18 workers killed so far, and to top it all off, a nice little revelation there on Wesley's army. <laughs> That's bonus point. Yes. Well, uh, if, if this game goes on like this, I I, uh, I just assume this can take that. I, I like the. We do have four base, four base against both players. I think Wessie is definitely going to have to establish a big base very, very quickly or pretty much immediately uh -oh. shut down. Because Ling Hydra Bane is definitely an offensive out on the map type style, so he's going to have to make something happen with his composition or else Disc is just going to get too far out of control. Uh, but uh, this whole composition is very vulnerable against Storm. Mm. Yes. So if you if you have one fight in a bad position and you get four or three storms, uh, mm -hmm. even Hydras don't survive that, that that very long. And then you have Archons uh, and Charge Dalits who can easily finish off the, the damage units already. And he gets a few banings here with the storm, mm -hmm. but loses almost every zealot he has to another four. Yeah, this it was is... a that was a great move uh, and then a shit move. 
Yeah, and behind all of this, there has been a uh, warp prism in the main, dropping some zealots. So pulling his entire army back, Wessie completely going defensive. And it looks like he's going to be moving out again, so it's just a lot of back and forth, and a lot of look, time look the, bought by Disc. Wow. Uh, I mean, look, if you look at the army supply, I don't think the Zerg will ever take a fifth. He's just doing uh, army, army, mm -hmm. army. This is all he's producing. He's hitting the button like buttons like crazy. I mean, they are like 26 veilings morph mm -hmm. at once. And this is this looks like he just wants to kill two bases that backs off or something. He wants to kill the uh, economy of the Protoss, and uh, now he gets some kind of trap there. Is he going for the base raid? What I'm, the hell is this? I'm not all the items. Now the Atlantic storms everywhere. Failing and Hydra's are almost gone, what the hell? Storms of the year, friends! Yeah, he did manage to kill off a probe line, so he's got the uh, the worker advantage at this point, but he has traded an entire army for this, and if the, uh, the and Protoss the just... Lost nothing. Yeah, nothing in terms of army, so he's got to completely resupply here, and do have enough technology on the field in order to push back any counterattack disc launches once he's cleaned up these links. Well, I mean, actually, he's 20 workers behind, which uh, would be a problem if he would have no army. But look at the army supply yeah. now. A and the upgrades. This is two nil Protoss walking mm -hmm. towards here. And it's going to take a while for these Banelings to morph. This Protoss army coming onto the creep and completely going to shut down this Baneling war. Does he have some storm? No, he just warped into I-10+. Plus. Not enough energy. I, I guess this all beco will become an Archon. He has one High Templar with two storms. And this, he is king of the High Templars now. He is very important. He can win this game on its own. If we, if you land two good um, storms on this army, mm -hmm. there's nothing left. I we saw that in the last, We saw that in the last engagement. Mm -hmm. And he is trying to split that up, but all paintings are just wiped away. Mm -hmm. This, oh, huge storms right here. Killing off, uh, well, damaging at least half the, uh, the Hydralisks there. And the Archon is going to completely zone these Hydralisks out, completely killing off this one base. And that's going to put a, uh, Wesley into an economic disadvantage, pulling those drones, but there's just not enough army here. And he is out. Look at the supply. 60 supply behind. Yeah, that, that is a complete shutdown. Wesley getting a great economic hit there on discs uh discs what was that his natural but just yeah. trading too much for that for that advantage but at what cost you know? yes exactly <laughs> man at what cost my friend well that is going to uh to be the end of wessie's reign of terror so that is a 3-1 lead now for cystorm gaming and uh, so one bet more and they uh, have the chance to actually win this yeah, and uh, of course they were down one series already, so we will be seeing them in a second best of seven should they uh, they win this. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.